Hello friends, welcome back to Learn IT Guide Tutorials. Thanks for watching this video. In this session, I am going to explain you about data types on Python programming. Keep watching the video till the end. This is the fourth video in the Python programming tutorial series. In the previous session, we have explained you about how to use Python shell and explained about variables and data types of strings and numbers in Python. Related links are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments in the comment section and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching Lanetic Guide Tutorials. We provide you 100% free documents and tutorial videos to build your skills. For more updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites and subscribe our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com and search for Lanetic Guide Tutorials. Hit subscribe button to not miss any updates. Click nearby bell icon to get notification immediately. So now we'll move on to lists. List or nothing but as the name says, list of items can be declared for a variable separated by commas and enclosed within square brackets. So far, we have seen uh, strings within the double quote. So everything will be considered as a strings. But for the list, the list of items, not only a single value for a variable, list of items can be declared for a variable separated by commas and it should be enclosed within square brackets. For example, laptops equal to IBM Azure Mac HP Enter So this is what the list So list of items will be declared and separated by commas and it should be enclosed within the square bracket This is what the list so here too, you can use slice operators to search and slice the list. Let me use a print function to know my value of laptops. I got this list. Now, if I wanted to print only the zeroth position, it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. So zeroth is IBM. Now, if you wanted to print only is a Mac so I don't want zeroth list so I got the value one two three that is is a and Mac so I told you before this is machine format and this is human format human for format end is it will start with one two three so it, we got the two value and if you want to print this three then you have to give in the human format so four got it now if you wanted to print since the first position you will get all the list since one so you can use this slice operators so just know that what is list you can have your list of items separated by comma within the square bracket if you wanted to update a value of a list then you can use this format now you don't need to use print function because we are not going to print the value we are going to update the value so here you have to give the position the index value here one so i'm going to change the value of a now zero one equal to Lenovo. now if you print laptops you will get the output as IBM and Lenovo. Initially it was Azure on index 1. Now it has been changed to Lenovo because we have done the update. So this is one of the option to update a value instead of going and modifying in the list. And lists are similar to arrays in C. And main difference I would say here is list can have multiple data types. You can have strings, you can have numbers, and you can have other data types but in the array you cannot have a multiple data types so in python on list data types you can have multiple data types formats 
now we are going to talk about tuples so tuple is also a data type which is very similar to the list so value should be separated by commas the main difference between list and tuples are list are enclosed in square bracket and values can be changed anytime but tuples are enclosed parentheses so lists are enclosed within square bracket and tuples are enclosed within parentheses and here the values cannot be updated so tuples can be considered as read only format so let me show you an example some values i told you before in python these list will accept multiple data types this is my list hit enter the difference over here is only the brackets if i give square bracket then that is list if i give parentheses then this is tuples let me try to update the value here So I am going to change the value of zero index to see tuple object doesn't support item assignment. It will not allow you to change the value. So this is what the tuples. So it's purely depend on your requirement to use list or tuples. So next we'll move on to dictionaries. So dictionaries. are enclosed by curly braces so list square bracket tuples parentheses and dictionaries curly braces let's see an example i'm going to use the same value over here that's it this is what the dictionary but here there is a difference between these list and tuples are similar but not dictionary only difference would be brackets but the value format is different you cannot give the values in this format because dictionaries are similar to a tables for example this is what the dictionaries and it can be used for tables purpose for example name and its value is henry here we call this as a key and the value of key is henry so what is in name henry and here age is key and the value of age is 30 this is the table format and this is what we call in python is dictionaries again if you want to have something like this so for mobile the value would be some numbers so this is key and this is value of that key enter so if you want to print you got something like this and if you want to print only the value for name then you have to use something like this over here you have to give name you got the value of this key that is henry same way you have to give the key over here on list and tuples we have used the index numbers but here you have to give the key names
if I give without double quotes you will get an error because this is a complete strings so string should be enclosed within the double quotes again if you give number something like index numbers for example if I give 0 it won't accept because this is not a list or tuples so this is a dictionary so you have to give the complete name which means the complete key you have to give right again if you want to print the complete keys the how many keys you have in that dictionary or in the table so you can use this format this is your variable name dot keys you got the only the keys output what are the keys you have in your table name age mobile and it will be in the revise wise order so not an issue dictionaries have no concept of order among elements it is incorrect to say that the elements are out of order they are just simply unordered and if you wanted to print only the values variable name dot values you got the values in unordered format so this is what the dictionaries so we have seen the complete data types basics we have five standard database numbers strings lists tuples dictionaries so you have got an idea what is python's data types slowly we are moving ahead to the next level of python programming in the next session we will learn more on python keep practicing and have fun how did you feel is it helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.lanetiguide.net